Hi, good morning. Welcome to, again to this another series lecture about Electrical Wiring Simulator or EWS. Today we're going to perform the pneumatic system. So this is just an extension or the, uh, the upgrade of the relays because in this particular activity we will be using relays. So make sure that uh, you have to answer first the relays module, okay? So for the single acting cylinder, so as of the moment, uh, we only have two activities, but later on we will be adding additional circuit for this pneumatic cylinder, okay? So let's hit play, the single acting cylinder, the normal mode. So let's explain first the circuit, okay? So this one is a pneumatic system. So this one is divided into two parts. This one here is the control circuit, and then this one is the power circuit. So for this power circuit, uh, we don't have to connect anything, so we just have to connect the solenoid here. Okay, so let's explain that one later on. So this PB2, PB2, this one is a relay. So this one is the solenoid. So this one is connected to this one here. Okay, this one is this one. So, okay, later, we will discuss that one later. And then this one is the normally closed connection or normally closed contact of the R1, normally open connection of our R1. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is this K1, if we press this PB2 here, so it means that the current now will now be able to flow to the R1. Since this K1 is connected in parallel with our R1, the moment we press this one, this K1 will also activate. So since this K1 is will activate, this portion here will be activate. So if this one will activate, this solenoid will move, okay, and it will allow the uh, high pressure air to flow through this uh, through this solenoid here to the pipe and then the high pressure will extend this extend this uh, cylinder okay if we press this one however if we release this one if we release this one the solenoid will be deactivated this one will be deactivated it will return to its original state with the help of this spring return then the air pressure now will not be able to flow through this solenoid and through this cylinder. So it will go back to the retract, retract position. Okay, so in short, if we press this one, extend. If we release this one, it will go back to its retract position. So we will wire this one first and then uh, after, after which we will try the simulation so that we will be able to see it, how it works in actual. Okay, let's connect this one first, the 24 volts to the PB2, input to the PB2, and then the output to the PB2 to the 13, 14, and then 0. Okay, so PB2, so the positive supply, connect this one to the input of the PB2. Okay, input of the PB2, and then the output of the PB2 will be connected to the R13 of the R1. Okay, so the output is connected to the 13 of the R1, so like that. And then the 14 is connected to the negative. Okay, so 14 is connected to the negative. And then at the same time, the K1, take note of the polarity, since we have here the positive and the negative of our solenoid. So this one should be connected on the positive side of our uh, circuit. So in this particular case here, this one is the positive. We have to connect this one in parallel. So connect this one to the 13 of our relay. Okay. Or we can connect this one. Instead of connecting this one to 13, we can also connect this one to the out of this PB2 since there, there is a wire connecting these two points. Okay. We can also do that. Okay. PB2. And then this one, this negative of the solenoid, we have to connect this one to the 14 of our R1 or to the zero volts. Let's try if, yeah, I think it would be easier if we connect this one to the number 14. Okay, so let's try to turn around. Okay, and then let's connect this one to 14. Okay, although we can also uh, connect this one to the negative. Okay, so that's for the second rung. Now let's connect this nine. This 9 to the uh, 24 volts, or we can connect this one to the input of the PB2. Let's try to see. The 9 to the input of the PB2. So I think it would be easier if we connect this 9 to the input of the PB2 here. Okay. Input of the PB2. Next. The 1 of our R1 will be connected to the 
PL1. Okay, input of the PL1. Okay, one to the input of the PL1. As what you can see now, uh, we are not concerned so much on the uh, horizontal and vertical of our line. So we'll try to uh, wire this one faster in preparation for our challenge mode. Okay, so the output of our PL1, let's connect this one. We can connect this one to uh, this 14 of our R1 or the negative of our uh, K1. But I think it would be easier if we connect it directly to the negative zero volts okay so uh, it is a little bit uh, nearer okay and then let's connect this one next is we have to connect the last line which is the nine again so same with relay if this is nine and nine this one it's a uh, same component so this is uh, nine is already connected so let's proceed with five so the five is connected to the input of the pl2 same R1. So the 5 is connected to the input of the PL2, which is that. And then the output is connected to the output or the 24 volts. So we can connect this one to the output of the PL1. Okay, to the output of the PL1. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so let's click the uh, submit button and let's try to uh, simulate our circuit. Submit so pass it means that uh, ten wires are corrected are connected correctly. So again, so what will happen if you press the PB2? We press the PB2. This solenoid valve will be activated. Hence, the high pressure from our compressor will be able to flow through the solenoid valve, allowing it to flow to our cylinder here, pneumatic cylinder here. Hence, this pneumatic cylinder will extend. Okay. However, if we release the PB2, it will deactivate the solenoid. Hence, the, uh, the air pressure now will not be able to flow to the cylinder. Hence, this one will go back to its retract position. Okay. So let's try. Click, extend. Okay. Hold. So it's still uh, supplying high pressure to our cylinder. If we're going to release this one, it will go back to the retract position. Also, observe what happens to the PL2 here. It will turn on, so the moment that uh, our PL, uh, that our cylinder is extended, and then if we release this one, the PL1, the pilot lamp number one will turn on. So same with alternating lamps. Extend, retract. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.